It's the last day on board the space station. We'll be undocking in a couple hours and returning home. It's been an absolutely incredible mission and uh, I'm gonna miss the space station. The space station is uh, just an amazing place to live and to work. Let's take one last tour down the space station and see what I'm leaving. So right now I'm in Node 2 at the very front end. Our Dragon is docked above us up here. That's where we'll, where we will be departing from. To my left, I've got the European Columbus module. To my right, it's the Japanese Kiba module. And then the rest of the space station is straight ahead. So let's fly down through the space station. We're now in the US lab uh, where we have a whole bunch of equipment, including our exercise bike. This, this. On the right, we have our robotics workstation where we can control our robotic arm from. And then we get to node one, which is our kitchen where we eat dinner. Attached to node one is also the airlock where we do EVAs from. And on the right is node three, where we have our toilet, our treadmill, our ARED strength exercise machine, and of course, cupola. Let's go have a quick look at cupola. And this is the world's best view. see the entire world from up here. Also attached to node three is the PMM, which is our logistics module. It's our stowage unit really, where we stow a lot of extra equipment and also trash. At the moment, we also have Cygnus up here, which is a unmanned cargo vehicle, which is attached at the bottom of node one. From node one, we can head into the Russian segment past Laurel and Jaws. Woo! <laughs> Did you want us to move? <laughs> no, that's okay. So this is our connection point to the Russian segment of the space station. It's a little bit narrow here. And now we are in the Russian segment. Below us is MRM-1 with a Soyuz attached at the moment. Ahead of us is FGB, which is also primarily a cargo or stowage module. Lots of stowage here. And now we get to, hello, we get to MLM, one of the newest modules on board the space stations, a uh, science module um, for the Russian polyglots. Let's have a fly through it. See it. And at the end of MLM, there is a docking node called UM, um, which is through here, which allows Soyuz and Progress vehicles to dock. And it's also used for stowage.
now we're coming back to the main stack where we uh, transited through FGB and we can get to the very last module, the service module, the Russian service module. This is another very important module, lots of systems here, computer systems, control systems, for controlling the space station. Now we are at the very back end of the space station. So let's take one last flight all the way to the front. SM, together with the FGB, were the two first modules that were launched. The FGB was actually the first module launched all the way back in 1998, which means that this module is 25 years old. And now we're back into the... Oh, it's a little bit tight here. Now we're back into the US segment. Node one. Hey, Kostya. Hey. And. <laughs> and back through the US lab. And back to the front end of the International Space Station again. So that was a fly through of the entire International Space Station, an incredible place, an incredible machine, and a, an incredible laboratory where it's been a, an absolute pleasure spending my last six months. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for joining our Cosmic Escapade on Space Wonders 319. If you loved our journey, hit subscribe, like, and share. Your support means the universe to us. Stay tuned for more celestial wonders. And share your cosmic thoughts in the comments until our next adventure. Keep exploring the wonders of space on our channel Space Wonders 319.